Blessings in Jesus, dear friends. You know, Satan's tricks, Satan's methodology, his strategies, none of these things are new. He simply resurrects things he's always done. This has been true since Genesis chapter 3. He beguiled the woman. Something that Paul warns us about in 2 Corinthians, using the example of Eve to teach about the church. He beguiles the woman. Always does it the same way. Brings into question what God's word says and begins using human reasoning in a perverted sense and twisting what God actually said out of context. That's how he deceived Eve. And he's deceiving people today using the same methodology. This is particularly true among the proponents of women pastors and women teachers of mixed congregations. That is the feminism of the world coming into the church, into the body of Christ, well infiltrating it. The methodology is used in a number of areas, but it's popularly called today complementarianism. Complementarianism. When you listen to somebody who's complementarian, they try to make an argument that does three things. One, they pervert the text out of context, often reassigning or redefining what terms mean. Secondly, they tried to say the text was culturally bound and has no meaning today. It was only for a previous age in history. It has no meaning today. Things are different. The third thing they do is what all false teachers do. Parasogzusin, as Second Peter says, they put truth next to error. Well-polished, deceptive speech. The enemy was subtle. The serpent was crafty. And his servants are the same thing. It's happening today. People who are using complementarianism. What is the result of this? They try to make things that are directly incompatible with what Scripture teaches appear to be compatible with what Scripture teaches. And they do it by those three methods. Distorting the text, saying it was culturally bound, and with polished, crafty speech that places truth next to error. This has gained a lot of momentum in the church, but is particularly true of the Jezebel spirit. This idea of women wanting power in the church as in secular society, they are usurping the place of male leadership. When we look at this in a fair and balanced way, and a scriptural way, above all, we believe in this teaching, the new old lie. Please watch it carefully. Moriel TV and RTN TV, thank you so much for listening. God bless.